Hi, I'm George Pearson, and we'll be doing this Photoshop Elements Blending Pictures project, putting this nice kind of romantic background in behind this violinist. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and, of course, share. You can support my channel through Patreon. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I do a bunch of videos every single week. There's my current schedule. And take a look at my complete training for Photoshop Elements, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's get to it. For this Photoshop Elements Blending Pictures project, we'll be using three photos, and I have them right down here in my photo bin, as you can see. We have a sheet music picture, our violinist, and then just this nice still life of these images. Now we'll be starting off with this picture as our base picture because we want everything to fit inside of this image. So let's just close everything else down. I'll close down our original back there and let's get these things closed down. There we go. So here's our original photo. Now we need to bring in those other two pictures and there are several ways to do that. Of course you could just open them up and drag and drop. I'll just be using place this time. Just real easy to do. Go up to file, come down to place and let's take our still life first place that in. Now if it comes in too small like this, all you have to do is just resize the image. I'll use my control T keyboard shortcuts. We have our control handle showing and just drag this up. Now the nice thing about the place command is that the image is automatically refigured from the original so it retains as much quality as possible. Now notice here we're a little wider than we are tall on the original image. So let's take this clear to the top and then I'll stretch this out until it fits top to bottom as well and then just position it nicely. I think there's more information that's useful on the left hand side so I'll cut off the right hand side which just has some leaves on it. Once that's positioned choose OK there. Let's now bring in our sheet music. Same trick. Place. There's the sheet music. And again just grab your corners and let's drag this up. If you hold the shift key down, it will then drag this proportionally if it doesn't do that already for you. There we go. Here's our sheet music. Okay, so far so good. Now we need to have the violinist above everything else. So I'm going to make a copy of this background layer. Right click, duplicate layer, choose OK. There it is. Just pull that to the top. There we go. And you can then hide that background. We're not going to be using that again. On the background copy, make another copy of that. Right click, duplicate layer, and choose OK. And you can hide that top one up there. Be working with that last. We can hide this layer now as well. So it leaves us with the still life right here. And then above the still life, we have this sheet music. Let's now blend the sheet music into the still life by adjusting the blend mode. Go up to our blend modes here and come down to soft light. And that just overlays the sheet music on top of that still life, giving us a nice kind of a dreamy effect in here. A bit of a double exposure with that on top. Now for this kind of a basic effect, what works out well is if you have a nice background picture like this and then some kind of a texture picture on top. I'm using the sheet music as my texture picture getting the texture in there of the notes and the lines of music. Okay, the background is now done. We now need to blend in our violinist into that background. Let's start off with this first copy here. And we'll change the blend mode on this and blend this into the background layer. Go up here to our blend modes and come down to hard light. And that blends her in in kind of a nice contrasty way down here. Looks real weird up in there. We don't want to have that. We'll be fixing that in our next step. And that's the final layer up here, our top layer. What we need to do now is use this to keep the nice photo of the violinist in this area here. We'll let the arms blend into the background and we'll remove this background here. Now a real nice easy way to do this is just to add a layer mask. So here's our layer mask button. There we go. Notice that we're white on the layer mask. White shows. Everything is showing because the whole layer mask is white. If we now paint black onto this layer mask, it will then 
hide that part of this picture and show us the stuff underneath. Okay, let's go over here, make sure black is your foreground. Click on the paintbrush, brush tool. I have mine set at 300 pixels, soft brush, and the opacity down just a little bit below midpoint, down 44%. So it's good large brush, you can see it right there. There it is, easy to see. Now if I go up here, upper right hand corner, and I paint in here with this brush, you can see what happens. It's hiding this foreground picture and showing us the stuff we have in the background, which is all those different blended layers. So all I need to do is just come in here now and paint around. Now because it's at a 44%, I'll have to go over it several times to get full density on that. And I did that on purpose so that we can fade in nicely into our foreground image. So this is first get around the violinist like this. Just basically getting the background in place. And again, go over it several times, get the full amount in there. Now I want to keep the arms in from our blended arms, so I'll just paint right in like that. There we go. Same thing on the right hand side, just go right into the arms. You get a little bit of that sheet music showing through there on the hands. And then around the head, let's just come in just until we're just touching it like that. There we are. And then right down in there as well. And there we go. It's really that easy to do. Just again, make sure that you're nice and full in our areas out here and around the bottom side. There we go. And there we go. Real fast, real easy, doing a romantic background change by blending these three different pictures together. And if you had fun with this fast project, make sure you hit that like button and share. Don't forget to check out Patreon. You can support me on Patreon. Also subscribe and take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. And again, there's a link for that right down there in the description.